Hello everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Learn. In this video, we can see about super node analysis. Super node analysis is similar to that of the super mesh analysis. First, let's see about what is meant by super node. Super node is a node when there is a ideal voltage source exists between any two nodes of the electrical circuit. Super node is a node when there is an ideal voltage source appears between any two nodes of the electrical circuit. See in this problem, this 20 voltage source is an ideal source which is occurred between the or appeared between the two nodes, this node and this node of an electrical circuit. We can form a nodal equation just by using KCL, Kirchhoff current law and we can solve this super node problem very easily by an another equation of node equation between these two nodes between these two nodes it is very easy here we have ideal voltage source of 20 volt between this node 2 and node 3 so the equation for this node 2 and node 3 would be b2 minus v3 equal to 20 if the voltage source has been reversed we will get v2 minus v3 is equal to minus 20 if we have negative terminal here and positive terminal here then v2 minus v3 would be of minus 20 okay let's see the problem determine the current through 5 ohms resistor of the circuit here the 5 ohms is present in this node at the third node they have asked the current through this 5 ohm we have written the super node equation as v2 minus v3 is equal to 20 volt if the polarity of the voltage source is reverse then we can write v2 minus v3 is equal to minus 20 okay assigning the current direction now assume this v1 is in higher potential all the current will be leaving the node all the current would be leaving the node so at node 1 we have to write the nodal equation that is kcl equation this kcl equation can be given as assume this is a current outgoing here i1 and this is a current outgoing as i2 and here the current outgoing is I3 and here the current outgoing is I4. And in this node the current outgoing currents are I5 and I6. We have asked the current through the 5 ohm is I5. So in node 1 the current can be given as I1 plus I2. Here already 10 ampere current has been incoming. So incoming current should be equal to sum of the outgoing current. So I1 plus I2 is equal to 10 according to KCL in node 1. In node 1, according to KCL, this equation has been written. And this I1 current can be given by the potential as the first node is V1. So, V1 divided by 3. Right? And I2 current can be given by V1 minus V2 divided by 2 ohms. V1 minus V2 divided by 2 ohms, which is equal to 10. Okay? This can be further manipulated as 0 0.83 V1 minus 0.5 V2 is equal to 10. Now at node 2 and node 3, the current can be given as at node 2 and node 3, I2 current, I2 current here is incoming and the outgoing currents are I3 plus I4 and here node 3, I4 current is incoming. So I4 is equal to I5 plus I6. So I2 can be given as I4 is I5 plus I6, right? So I3 plus I5 plus I6 together, right? I2 is a current which is flowing through 2 ohms. So, V1 minus V2 divided by 2 which is equal to I3 is the current flowing through 1 ohm that is V2 divided by 1. I4 is a current of summation of I5 plus I6. I5 is a current flowing through 5 ohms that is V3 minus 10 volt divided by 5. Right? V3 minus 10 divided by 5. Plus I6 is the current flowing through 2 ohms that is V3 divided by 2. Okay. This can be further reduced as V1 minus V2 divided by 2 which is equal to 10 V2 plus 2 times of V3 minus 10 plus 5 V2. On taking the LCM we will get the value as 10. So multiply throughout by 10 we will get as 5 V1 minus 5 V2 which is equal to 10 V2 
plus 7 V3 minus 20. This equation can be further reduced as 5 V1 minus 15 V2 minus 7 V3 is equal to minus 20. This is equation. I have not mentioned any number, right? So, take this first equation as 1 and this equation as 2 and this equation as 3. Now, by using first equation, by using this first equation, second equation and third equation, we can find the determinant value by using matrices and determinant. Del value. Del value can be written as 0, 1, minus 1, 0 0.83, minus 0 0.5 and 0, 5, minus 15 and 7. These are the del values. Okay. Now, we can expand by using we can expand this del by using the first column 0 first element would be eliminated and the second element which sign will be changing here so minus 1 now 0 0.83 into 7 minus 0 again here minus 1 will get 0 0.83 into minus 15 minus into minus plus 5 into 0 0.25 0 0.5 into 5 will get 0 0.25 on doing this calculation you will get the value of del as 15.76 15.76. Now, they have asked the value of current flowing through this node, right? Current flowing through this resistance, that is I phi current. This I phi current can be found by using, if we find the value of this V3 value. If we find the value of this node V3, it is easy to find the value of the current I phi. To find the value of the V3 in matrices, we need the value of del 3 value, right? We need the value of del 3. So, V3 can be found by del 3 divided by del, right? Del 3 can be found by replacing the third column with the right side value that is current value. So, 0, 0 0.83, 5, 1, minus 0 0.5, minus 15. This column has been replaced by 20, 10 and minus 20. This is the right side values which we have written in all the equations. This is 20, so this is 20, 10 and minus 20. This has to be replaced in the third column of the matrices. Now, if you expand this matrix, you will get the value of del 3 as minus 132.4 minus 132.4. So, V3 can be found as del 3 by del. So, minus 132.4 divided by 15.76 on cancelling, you will get the value as minus 8.4 voltage minus 8.4 voltage. Current I phi, current I phi you have written here as current I phi can be written as V3 minus 10 divided by 5. It is a current flowing through 5 ohms. So, V3 minus 10 divided by 5. Your value of V3 is minus 8.40 minus 10 divided by 5. So, I phi value as minus 3.68 which shows the current direction you have assumed is, is wrong. The current has been, you have assumed the current has been going outside the node, that is leaving the node. But actually, the current I phi has been entering this node. This current has been entering the node. The current direction which you assumed is a negative value, it shows the current direction you assumed is wrong, and the current direction is actually leaving this battery and it is entering the node of third node. Okay, so I phi is. 3.68 if it is entering and it is minus 3.68 if it is leaving. Okay. I hope you understood the concept of super node analysis. If you have any doubt, please leave it in the comment section. And if you all like the video, you all know the drill. Like, share and subscribe to Wi-Fi Learn. Thanks for watching the video.